everyone, it's Elizabeth Monday. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am sorry I've been MIA. I had some health issues last week, but I'm back and I'm ready to film and edit. I've been actually really missing this creative process, so I'm excited to be back. Today's video is going to be a what I got in my baby shower haul. I'm so excited to show you guys what my friends and family have purchase for baby J. Um, if you don't know, my husband and I are expecting our first baby at the end of March, early April, and our baby is a boy. We know that his name is going to start with a J. So if you hear me call him baby J, we haven't decided on his name yet. It's between two names. And if you remember what those names are, you should put them in the comments below so that I know you've been here from the beginning. But if I call him baby J, that's who I'm talking about. Um, quick disclaimer, I am not bragging or trying to show off the things that my friends and family have gotten for us. I'm just excited and wanted to show you some of the things that we got. And I'm thinking about linking my registry down below so you can see what I had on there. I've gotten so much advice from other mamas in my life about the things that we need and the things we don't. So if you're looking for ideas of what to put on your baby registry, you can take a look at mine. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. Um, so I had to change my location. I've already filmed this video once, but I hated the lighting. I hated where I was sitting. So hopefully this one turns out better because <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm just gonna give up. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what we got at our baby shower. So let's go ahead and get started. So for bath time, I did want to try to keep it simple and we got some really great gifts. I think we're pretty much set as far as his bath time goes for a while. So we got quite a few hooded towels. I love the color of these and they're so soft. These are Cloud Island from Target. So these are just going to be so nice to have for him. We also got a hooded towel and washcloth set. These are Hudson Baby and they're a little bit bigger than the other ones. And they have the cute little woodland creatures on them. So these are great. We also got some washcloths. These are also Cloud Island. And they go with the towels I just showed you. So soft and such nice colors. I think this is about all we'll need for washcloths because my grandmother-in-law has crocheted a lot of really cute bath cloths that we're going to use for the baby. They're so soft. And then this is the last set of towels. These are so sweet. I love the constellation pattern. These are also Cloud Island from Target and these are the small ones. So. These are ones we'll probably be able to use as soon as he comes home from the hospital. Um, looking ahead, we got the Munchkin Ocean Animal Bath Squirts. <laughs> so these fill up with water. The baby can squeeze them and get water in your face. <laughs> I'm so excited that he will have some fun toys to play with. I loved bath time when I was a baby and when I was little. So I'm so excited to have these for when he's a little older. And oh wait, we do have one other hooded towel. These are, this one is from Burt's Bees. And um, I haven't felt this, but it is 100% organic cotton. So I'm sure this is gonna be just great for him. And I love just the simple neutral gray. My mom got us um, a moisturizing milk from Luxathon, and my mom loves that brand. So my husband and I both have very dry skin, so I think this is going to be nice to have, and it has shea butter in it, which has always done well for me. And then my friend also got us this little baby brush and comb, super soft bristles for him, and we already know that he has hair. And he hasn't even been born yet. This is the safety first brush and comb set. So we're ready for that. Um, this is sort of in that same vein, but my sister got us a cold pack. Um, her kids are slightly accident prone and I'm sure mine will be as well. 
And then the largest item that we got was his little bathtub. So I chose, this one's the Boon. It's a three stage bathtub, zero to 18 months. And I had read some really good reviews on this. So my friend from Texas actually shipped this in for us. She couldn't come to our shower because we live in North Carolina, but she knew how anxious I was that I didn't have a bathtub for him. So she was so kind and got that for us. Um, so those are all of his bath time items that we got from our friends and family. We also got some items for meal times. So let me grab those. So first off, we got some burp cloths. Now I didn't have any of these. He will need these immediately. So I'm going to wash these and have these ready to go. We are planning on breastfeeding. God willing, hopefully I can. Um, that's my hope is that I can. So these are very soft and very cute. I love the pattern. My older sister and my younger sister recommended these. So these are the Munchkin Weighted Straw Cups. We got two different colors for him. And once he is able to use a sippy cup, I have just really heard good things about these. And when I have babysat my nieces and my nephew, they just really don't spill and they're awesome. So if you're looking for a good cup option, the Munchkin ones are amazing. Then I also got these Easy Clean Bibs. And this was from a friend who just had a baby boy in September. So I really trust her opinion, but it has the cute little patterns, um, the little arrows, the little chevron, and the little foxes. This was not on my registry, but we are excited to have those. As far as his nursery goes, we got kind of a good mix. Most of it's very practical, but I'm, I'm excited for that because practical is usually going to be the most helpful. One of my dear friends got us the Hatch Baby Noise Machine, and I'm so excited for this. It has a nightlight, it has music, and I know we're going to use this every night. My husband and I fall asleep to white noise every night, so this will be nothing new for us. So we're going to have this in our bedroom because baby Jay will be sleeping with us in our room for at least the first six months. I'm in his nursery right now and it's a lovely space, but for safety purposes, we will have him with us in a bassinet and I will maybe do a review on this. I've heard really great things. Um, one of the most special items that we got at our shower was a gift from my mom. She is a very crafty lady and very good at sewing and crocheting and knitting. And she made this beautiful um, baby afghan for us. And um, she gave us um, a couple of yarn options. And I decided to go with the colorful one, which isn't like me, especially when you see our nursery. It's very neutral. But my husband loves bright colors. And I just thought it would be nice to have just a pop of something bright. And um, this item is so special to me. I've seen my mom make baby blankets for so many mamas for their babies. And every time I saw it, I thought that's beautiful. Someday it'll be me and it's finally my turn. So it's so incredibly soft. I know it's gonna be warm, but not too warm for our spring baby. Once I'm done filming this video, it's going straight into the hospital bag so we can get some great photos of him with this. So thank you, mama. She always watches my videos. She also got us, this is kind of like on the go item. I have a couple of those and then I'll go to the nursery items. She got us the boba wrap. And if I remember, I will insert a, a picture. This is a gray fabric that's so soft. Just something to wear your baby with. I liked being held my entire babyhood. So my mom is thinking, oh, you know, if he's anything like his mama, that's what he's going to like. So it's just this big piece of fabric. And I'm going to practice trying to put it on me and my husband to wear the baby in. So I'm so excited to have this. Thank you, mama. Another item for on the go. Oh, my husband's home. Ah, I'm back. My husband got home. From grocery stopping and he picked up lunch for us so <sighs> feeling a little bit more energized and I also realized sometimes when I film I feel like when I wear my glasses that you can't see my facial expressions so
so I'm going to take those off. Oh, I need to turn the light on. Um, some of the items that we got for when we're on the go with the baby and we need some items to kind of help with that. I showed you the carrier and we also got the Bobby shopping cart and high chair cover. So I got the gray and yellow one has the little sun on it and everything. Super cute, but very practical. You can put this one on your high chair at a restaurant or brewery and on a shopping cart. We really want to be able to try to take him with us places. So it's actually one of our friends that we usually go out with that gave us that. So very nice. So I was really appreciative to have that item, to have the wrap, just things that'll make it a little bit easier to take him places. Um, so this item is rather large. So we'll see how I can show you. My Aunt Debbie got us the um, diaper pail that I had on her registry. Um, so I registered for the Ubi diaper pail. This is the steel one and I got the white one. So they actually don't need special bags. This one does not. It has the child safety lock. We do want to cloth diaper ultimately, optimally, I mean, if a word, but we are also going to use disposable diapers in case we need to. So it'd be really nice to have this. I'm really excited to have it for him because I just don't want my house to smell like diapers, okay? Um, we also got um, the Graco pack and play and I'm not gonna try to lift it cause it's heavy. I will put a link down below. I know from personal experience with my nieces and nephews that a pack and play is quite necessary. So we did register for that. So next I'm gonna show you the clothes items that we got. Um, my husband's grandmother lives in a tropical climate and she's very concerned that our baby's going to be cold here in North Carolina. So she got us a set of mittens and a little beanie hat. So cute and very funny to me because she's just, she's already sent us gloves. She just thinks he's going to be cold and she's not wrong. It does get a lot chillier here than it does where she lives. And because we are such big Harry Potter fans, we got some Harry Potter clothing items which we're excited about. And this one might be my favorite. This one says a little wizard and it has a little Harry on it. And with the little pants, my husband is a Gryffindor. He was very pleased to see these items because they are all Gryffindor. <laughs> I'm not a Gryffindor, can you tell? Guess which house I'm in, you might be surprised. Smuggle the Smuggle, which I just think is so cute with these little Harry Potter pants. And the last Harry Potter clothing item is this little set that has Hermione, Ron, and Harry, Hedwig. It's very cute. And it has the matching pants as well. So I can't wait to take pictures of him in these. We also got this zipper um, sleeper with a little dinosaur on it. Now you guys. From my experience with babies, when you get up in the middle of the night to do a diaper change, you don't want to have to use anything with buttons or snaps. Zippered items are great. And this one's six to nine months. So we have a decent amount of sleepers. So we're excited to have more because I feel like you can't ever have enough. One of our gift items was shipped by Amazon. And um, so, we don't exactly know why this got sent because it was not on a registry. However, I am excited to have it. It's a little swim shirt for him. And um, our friend also got us a swim diaper to go with this, which I don't know where it is. But I want to be able to take him swimming with us to go to the pool and maybe the beach. And so I don't want him to get sunburned. So that's a great item to have. We don't know, she didn't order it. So I think Amazon just accidentally put it in the package, but my mother-in-law also got him some onesies. This one's probably my favorite because my husband looks so good in bright colors and he loves wearing bright colors like this. So this reminds me of my husband, which I love. 
this item also looks like a shirt my husband has. <laughs> so yeah, she just got us some really cute bright onesies and I don't tend to go for the colorful ones as much as she does. And so it's nice to have a little bit of variety, don't you think? This one, super sweet, reminds me of a baseball shirt. So super precious. Those are the only clothing items that we got, which I was okay with because we already have a lot of clothes. Another thing that we did that I would highly recommend if you love reading and you love children's books, instead of asking people for cards, we put on our invitation that we wanted to ask if people would, instead of buying a card, buy a book for our baby. And they, if they wanted to, they could write a note in it. And that way, when we read him these stories, we can show him the note and say, your cousin got you this or our friend got you this. So we got a rather large stack of books. Um, let me see if I can kind of stack them up so you can see how many we got. Um, ooh, it's hard to reach for things when you're pregnant and you're almost 31 weeks pregnant. So we got a beautiful array of books. We got a very colorful board book that'll be great for sensory kind of looking at different colors. A golden book, The Little Red Caboose. I've never read that one. I'm excited. I haven't gotten him any mommy books. Feels weird to buy them for him. So someone got us this, our first one. It's a mommy and me book. Very sweet. I love this one, you guys. If you love beautiful illustrations, this one's called The Little Blue Truck Springtime. And this one is by Alice Shirtle. And the illustrations are by Jill like Elmer. Such a gorgeous book. I've never seen it before. We got Fox and Socks by Dr. Seuss. One of the funniest and most obnoxious books. My First Bible Stories, which is beautifully illustrated. I'd highly recommend this. And the funniest one. My husband is a mechanical engineer. And <laughs> I'm really thinking our child will take after him in the mechanical mindset. Because my husband got a lot of his skills from his own dad. So we're thinking it'll keep going. My sister got us the ABCs of engineering. You guys, this book is hilarious. <laughs> so it starts with A is for amplifier, B is for battery. And I love that you can simplify this. So when he's really little, you would just read the letters with the word. And then once he gets older, <laughs> you can do the bold printed and amplifier makes a signal bigger and then you move on. But then when he's older and his comprehension skills are higher, you can go into the paragraph. You guys, what a fun bonding time for a father and son, right? It's hilarious, but I, it's also very interesting. I don't know what half of these items are because I'm a music teacher. So I may learn something from these books. And then we got two other books that I didn't quite get in my stack. Cute little owl book. And I love this, J.K. Rowling's The Tales of Beetle the Bard. I just finished reading The Deathly Hallows for the first time, long story. So this book um, really just spoke to me. We're trying to have some touches of Harry Potter in his nursery. And so we have some floating bookshelves that my husband's going to put up. And if I can, I think I may prop this up so that it's almost like, um, a display for the nursery. I'm really excited. Um, such a thoughtful gift from a fellow Potterhead. Um, some little random items that we also got. Um, we don't have a lot of toys for him yet. My mother-in-law got us the Melissa and Doug geometric stacker. So these are all blocks that come apart. You guys, if he's anything like his daddy, he's going to love those. We also got a wet bag from my friend Jenny, a Harry Potter one, which will just be so nice to have for his swimsuits or anything that gets damp. And then also we got, it's called the Itsy Mitt. And this one's going to be really great for when he's teething. Um, I know how miserable babies get when they're teething. And I think that it's so important to have little items like this that you can have to help them deal with all of that pain. 
another sweet item that we got was a bucket and a shovel from my sister. They live on the coast and um, it's kind of something for him to use when he vi we visit because they live on the beach. So um, we also got something I got to get. Give me one sec. <clears throat> My sister got us the Skip Hop playmat. And this is honestly one of my favorite items that I put on our registry and I'll tell you why. When your baby is doing tummy time and then they're laying on their back and you want them to be entertained, you don't want them on a screen. I just love playmats and I always have. This one goes into his nursery theme with the twinkling stars and the moon. It even has a little white owl, which reminds me of Hedwig from Harry Potter. You guys, this one has music, textures. Um, it comes with a mirror, um, chimes. And it's just, I think it's aesthetically pleasing. I think some of them are very unattractive, but I love the colors. Um, I think it's perfect for um, our little baby boy. So I was so excited to open that. The last category of items I'm going to show you are the postpartum accessories that I received. So <laughs> we are planning for a vaginal delivery. We have no plans of a cesarean at this point if possible. And so I may go through my birth plan a little bit more extensively in another video, but we are planning on having a vaginal delivery. And so when my girlfriend said, hey, I have this big bag of gifts for you. They weren't on your registry, but I think you're going to love them. She was right. So let me go through the items that she got for me. Um, she purchased the Honey Pot Maxi Pads. Now these have soothing um, ingredients like lavender, aloe, mint. It has the wings. I'm going to use these postpartum before I use my plain pads, because in my mind, I'm thinking this is going to be very soothing and it's gonna help me just feel better. And I've had good experience with the Honey Pot products. So I'm excited to have those at home. She also got me the Frida, per Frida Mom Perry Bottle. I know that they give you one at the hospital, but all I've heard from mamas is that it doesn't work as well and this one's the best one. I've had it on my um, Target cart online for weeks and I just haven't made the plunge to buy it yet. So I'm putting this in my hospital bag for sure. Also, let me know if you want to see what's in my hospital bag video because I'm thinking about filming one. I'm gonna be finished packing it and the baby's hospital bag tonight. So I might be able to film that this week if you'd like to see it. Um, the other item she got me are some disposable nursing pads and this is something that I might start using now because I'm already having issues with this um and I like that they're disposable because my husband has gotten me reusable ones as well so I think it will be nice to have both um the other item that she got me is a little bit big um so I'll show you that in a moment but first my sister also lovingly got me some cold packs <laughs> for two parts of your body that will be sore from feeding your baby. <laughs> and so um, I really appreciate this because I know I'm going to need them. So these are also going to go into my postpartum basket. The last postpartum item that I received at the shower was, I'm losing my books, they're falling. The Freedom Mom Instant Ice Pantsicles. So, I have seen on TikTok moms recommending these and also recommending making your own. There are, I believe, eight pads in here. And so I'm going to also make some homemade padsicles, but to have them ready to go, it just gives me so much peace of mind. So this was just such a thoughtful gift and something that a lot of mamas have told me is a great postpartum item to have just a very comforting item and I think as a postpartum mama you need those little comforts so I feel like when you're having a baby shower it's so amazing to buy to open gifts for your baby but when people are thoughtful and they buy things for you as the expecting mama when you're approaching delivery with trepidation 
it's just a nice feeling to have been thought of. So I was very touched by all those postpartum gifts from that girlfriend. I'm going to be filming um, a nursery tour, nursery progress video in the next couple of days. So you guys can see everything that we get done in here. That's everything we got at our baby shower. I hope that this video was enjoyable for you. If you made it all the way this far, can you comment a star emoji in the comments below to celebrate his starry night themed nursery? Um, or even a lightning bolt for Harry Potter. I would love that. Let me know if you have any video requests or any questions for me. And don't forget, I will have my registry posted down below so that you can see the items that I registered for and maybe get some ideas for your baby registry. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!